everybody! How are you all doing today? I'm very fine because I'm out in the forest with Nanook and it's another sunny day. We just had the darkest November in 25 years here in Sweden and I could really feel that. I think for about two weeks I didn't even see the sky or the, the sun or anything. It was just really thick clouds and fog. It felt like being in constant darkness. But now the last three days it has been sunny and oh my god, you have no idea how it feels to see the sun again when you haven't seen a glimpse of the sky or, or the sun for so long. And especially now when we only can see the sun for like an hour a day. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, it's almost like a spiritual or religious experience to see the sun. I can imagine that it's hard to understand if you live in a country where it's sunny all the time. But when you see the sun for the first time in a long time, it's like seeing a miracle. It's almost like witnessing something that shouldn't be possible. <laughs> Just to step into this light, it's like your body just releases some kind of happy hormones or something. It feels really good to see the light. Nanok! There you are! Nanok! Ska vi gå hem? Ska vi gå hem nu? Okay, we're gonna start walking back home now. Because uh, I have some things I want to show you before it gets dark. I actually sometimes feel a bit stressed because it's only good light for like two hours until it gets dark again. I want to show you what we've been doing with the smithy and I also have some ice prints and ice jewelry that I want to talk about. Okay, but I see you at home. Mwah! coming. <laughs> He's been in the city sending some packages. Hey! Hey! Jag skulle precis gå ut och filma och så kom du precis. What have you been doing? Get the package. And you got us some food as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, daddy's home! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> So in my previous vlog I showed you how far we've come with the renovations in our new smithy uh, where we will have our new working place for the jewelry and now a lot of things have been happening and I'm so excited to show you the doors <laughs> that I've been talking about our custom made doors they are so beautiful look at these doors <laughs> I think they are like a masterpiece. <laughs> so these doors were like a dream design that me and Johan had for the smithy. But we thought it wasn't really possible to make them. So we were thinking about just putting in normal doors. But <laughs> our friends Åsa and Arvid that you have seen in earlier vlogs, they actually own a carpentry since like a year back, I think. And in that carpentry, they make a lot of doors and windows or furniture and stuff in a bit older style like with really high quality and then we talked with Åsa about uh, these kinds of doors that we would like to have a door that looks really old like 
like an old door to a barn or almost like a medieval style and uh, she really liked the idea and her employee Kent also liked the idea he has been working with carpentry for many many years he's really really good so they wanted to give it a try and make these doors for us and they had an old shack that was falling apart so they could use some of the wood from the old shack to the doors so this wood is actually really really old just as it looks like you can really see that it's gone through a lot of long cold winters and a lot of wind and these nails are also really old made by hand you know as they did the nails back in the time <laughs> we are just so happy with the doors they even became more beautiful than we could imagine so we have two of these doors now both in the entrance from the from the barn so this is the entrance door to the smithy <laughs> And, uh, and then we also have another door uh, that right now just leads out into the other part of the barn. So as you can see, a lot of things have been happening here since my last vlog. I'm just gonna move this to the window. Okay, there we go. Let's just show you some clips from the renovation this last week. <laughs> Thing. Do, you, do you like it here? <laughs> well, it's not done yet, but it's soon. Now I need some coffee. <sighs> I wanted to show you something else that I've been working on the last week. So as you can see, <laughs> our whole living room is full out of these ice photos. So the other week I sp oh, you. Oops. We wanted to have them as a beautiful background. That works. So the other week I spent a lot of time flying my drone about the ice. Because I wanted to record some beautiful drone footage on the ice to use for my two hour long ice sound video. I don't know if you have seen it yet, but if you haven't, you can find the link in the description. As I've told you before, I think the ice looks so beautiful from above. It's mesmerizing to see it. I just love to, to fly my drone and see all these different patterns and it's crazy to think about how the earth can just create these beautiful masterpieces without even trying, it just happens. But I also took some photos of the ice then I wanted to try to make some prints out of them to see how they look like. And I actually really loved the result of that. So that's what I've been doing. I've been framing a lot of these prints. I have them in some different sizes. I think the prints almost looks like a, a big abstract painting in a way. But it's 100% real photos from the eyes and that's kind of crazy to think about. And I just wanted to let you know that I have finally <laughs> updated my print shop with some new photos. Hey. Mm. <laughs> and I have four different ice photos. 
One is named Ice Flake because I think it reminded me of a snowflake. And another photo I named Ice Walker because you can see uh, the tracks from a little animal walking right across the ice. And you can actually see those tracks on the Ice Flake photo as well. And another photo is called Ice Orchestra because you can really see these huge cracks that are actually the ones that makes the sound that you hear from the ice. And then we have the Ice Galaxy photo, which is actually one of my favorites. Den här heter Ice Galaxy. Är varför? Därför att jag tycker att det här... Ja, det är som en vintergata. Ja, ah, då förstår du vad jag menar. Ja, när man sitter på himla så är det som en vintergata. Ja. Så det ser ut som en sträck så här. Mm. Och då tycker jag att den, och så, om du kollar nära bra. så ser det ut som små, små stjärnor. Ja, ja. Och så ser det ut som att de är connectade. Liksom, ja. liksom en... So if you want to check these prints out you can find the link in the description. And we have also made some ice jewelry that I actually wear right now. It's this necklace that you can see and also these earrings so this necklace and the earrings is one of the designs that we've been working on for our new jewelry collection and our plan was to release this jewelry with our new web shop <laughs> that were supposed to be released in november but because of some big changes and some struggle we can't open it until march and i'm a very season based artist i would say because I feel very inspired by my surroundings in the moment. And now, as it's winter, I'm all about, you know, ice and the northern lights and the winter. So now when we actually had these designs ready, it felt a bit boring to wait until March to release them because now the ice is singing and it's like it's their time now <laughs> to be released so we decided to release these ice designs on our web shop even if we don't have our new web shop ready yet uh, but you can find the link in the description to our jewelry web shop if you want to check them out so this necklace and these earrings are made of a stone that is called larimar and it's also called the dolphin stone or the stone of atlantis and I saw it the first time like a year ago. When I saw it I immediately thought about the ice. Because both the color and the patterns in the stone look so much like how the ice can look from above. So I got the idea that one day I wanted to make jewelry out of this Larimar stone. And because it's a stone every necklace or earring looks unique. Nobody looks the same and they can even have a bit different shape or a little bit different colors and you know patterns. But I really like that. Every piece is unique. The other week I was gonna take some product photos of, of the jewelry so we could have on our web shop. And it was just such a beautiful timing because I wanted to, to take photos of them outside on the ice. <laughs> And exactly that hour that I was out taking these photos on the ice on the lake outside, the ice were singing so loud. <laughs> and I thought that the ice had stopped singing for this year because the ice is, is kind of thick now, it's like 30 centimeters. And usually it mostly sings in the beginning. I had this camera on record and this camera is quite bad when it comes to sound, but it actually captures the sound pretty good. I actually spent that whole day filming and taking photos on the ice jewelry. I totally got lost in that project. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around. So now you have seen some more of my ice obsession. <laughs> yeah, the ice have really inspired me a lot lately. It always does, every winter. So why not end this little ice discussion with an ice bath? Because <laughs> yesterday I made myself a little pool on the ice that I hope to be able to keep open during the winter. But the ice grows thick really fast so i don't know but i was planning to take a little ice bath today and that's actually my first ice bath this winter so that's gonna be nice so i better get down there before it gets dark i see you there Mwah. so good yeah yeah <laughs> 
Juan, are you gonna have an ice bath? Yeah, just watching. Don't you feel very tempted when you see this black beauty hole? <laughs> <laughs> A little. feel good <laughs> there's nothing better than you know feeling the contrasts in life so before I end this vlog I just wanted to answer some questions that I got in the comment section and first of all thank you so much again for all your beautiful comments and all the beautiful response on my eye sound video and my previous vlog as I told you earlier I, I really try my best to to read all your comments but sometimes when it gets to a, a couple of thousand comments it's really hard to read them all but but I try my best I think the comment section is the best thing on YouTube I can't imagine how it would be to, to create these videos without having this interaction with you guys I think that's a big part of it at least I I love it so much and I get really inspired by you guys um, so so thank you Thank you so much. And also, thank you so much for all the advice that I got on the tracks in my previous vlog. You know, we found some tracks that we didn't really know what animal it was, if it was a wolf or something. But a lot of you came with good advice and I think I'm pretty sure now that it's a wolverine. I saw many people writing that it could be a wolverine and when I looked up the tracks it seems that it, it could be that. And I've never seen a wolverine in real life. But that's cool. <laughs> Let's see here. I have the questions on my phone. So the first question is regarding one of my ice videos. Colleen asks, do you hear this by just being near or standing near a frozen lake? Or do you need to put your ears against the ice like you did in your other video? No, you definitely don't have to put your ear on the ice to hear it. You can hear it from far away. The sounds from the ice can be really, really loud sometimes. So you can hear the sounds from lakes far away. It depends on what kind of sounds the ice make. But the reason that I put my ear against the ice is just because you can feel the sound even more. You like feel the vibration and you, you hear more sounds. It's like putting your ears on the stomach of the eyes. <laughs> Next question. Sofia Palm asks, can you make a Spotify account where you put all your songs and soundtracks? I saw that I got a lot of questions regarding Spotify, if I could put up my music and, and songs on Spotify. And I will do that. I have thought about it for so long now and I don't know why I haven't done it yet, <laughs> but I will do it. So thank you for inspiring me to do that. Next question, Morgan Hood. What's the name of your dog? I want to know how to spell it so I can see what his name means. His name is Nanok and it actually means polar bear in Eskimo. When he was a puppy I thought he looked so much like a little bear. Uh, so I, I thought that Nanok is a good name even though it means polar bear. I thought that it can mean bear as well. Now I'm gonna start to edit this vlog. 
Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, everyone. I see you soon again. Bye-bye. <laughs>